Welcome to the comprehensive modeling tutorial for Team Fortress 2. Uh, this tutorial will cover everything from modeling to compiling, texturing, exporting, everything uh, so that you can get um, your item that you create into Team Fortress 2's engine and hopefully, if it's good enough, even be submitted to the TF2 Contribute site. So let's begin. Alright, so this is basically the workflow of how you get an item from zero to finalized. Um, you start. I'm going to start off chapter one here with the basics. I'm just going to talk about what modeling is, um, what programs you need um, f uh, to, to get this to work, um, and chapter two will be about modeling your actual item. Uh, chapter three will talk about how you texture it and how you uh, UV unwrap it and stuff like that, ambient inclusion, all that other goody stuff. Chapter 4 will be about compiling your object, how to get it into the source engine, and chapter 5 will be about some tips, finalizing how to get the item into the game to look at and stuff like that. So, Chapter 1, the basics of modeling. What exactly is modeling? Modeling has become increasingly popular since the announcement of TF2 Contribute Site. Modeling is basically creating a 3D rendered object which is then textured and shaded to make look like a real item. For the Source Engine, and in particular Team Fortress 2, modeling can also be used for other purposes such as creating static models for use in making maps. For example, if you want a tree in your map or something. Before you begin this tutorial, you need to ask yourself one question. How much am I willing to spend to make what I want? This means both time and money. First of all, it takes a lot of time and effort to get a model to look just how you want it, and secondly, it can cost a lot of money. Programs like 3ds Max, XSI, Lightwave, and Photoshop can cost thousands of dollars. There are cheaper ways to get them, like student loans and stuff like that, but uh, there are, of course, also completely free ways to model as well. Uh, and you have to decide which way is best for you. Uh, I personally use Blender 3D uh, version 2.49, and that is what uh, we will be using for this tutorial. It's free and does everything you need to make basic models for TF2. Also, before you continue on, um, there are some very crucial websites and resources that you absolutely must read through patiently in order to fully understand how to make models. You will also need to download some free programs in order to fully complete this tutorial. The following websites are absolutely necessary to be, uh, for you to be successful. Read through them all thoroughly and completely. Here is the complete list of all the things you need to follow along with this tutorial. Links for everything, uh, the programs and websites will be in the video description below, so don't, f don't forget to check the video description. Uh, and th uh, this is pretty much the end of the first tutorial. Uh, make sure you download everything you need, including the Python scripts for Blender, uh, on the Blender website, um, which is in the link below. You'll, you'll see um, where you need to download that. I'll also put a link for that on the video description. And make sure you read through everything, all the all the links, to get a good enough understanding for how modeling works. Um, make sure you download version 2.9. Uh, you don't want 2.5. That's the new beta version, and it doesn't work very well. And in the next chapter, I'll explain how to start modeling. <laughs>